five. Yeah. And now, come in me. Oh my God. <laughs> What's up YouTube, it's J-Man and me the Jokester and today we're doing a movie review. Uh, the other night we watched a classic of the bad movie genre. Uh, one, of the, one of the most uh, celebrated bad movies of all time. Some say the absolute worst film ever made. Jay, what did we watch? That's right, Troll 2, sequel to Troll, and, uh, you know, there's, there's so much to say about this incredible film, Jason. Troll 2 features what kind of monsters? Goblins. That's right, not trolls, goblins, and they make this very clear at the start of the film. You, now, you had never seen this uh, film before, right, Jason? Was it, as, was it as terrible as you thought it would be? Was it even worse? On a scale of one to four stars, how many stars do you give Troll 2? Zero stars. <laughs> oh, you want to give it zero stars? That's acceptable. Zero ranch. No. Troll is about the troll. That's right, but Troll 2 is about goblins. It's the story of a young boy and his family, uh, and they go on vacation. Uh, they swap houses with another family, which isn't a very common practice, uh, if it's a practice at all. And the, 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 the big issue we learn at the beginning of the film is this young boy is uh, seeing the vision of his grandfather. His, his deceased grandfather is visiting him and warning him about goblins. Now, Jason, when they revealed that the grandfather was a ghost, you lost your mind. You started laughing so hard when they said this grandfather is not real. I really thought we were going to have to stop the movie. Um, you know, I think that coupled with the fact that Troll 2 is about goblins, just you went bananas. Why are in the fuck? Yeah, there's, so they get the family gets to their vacation home, which is also, of course, the epicenter of the goblin uh, world. And all the food that they're offered is covered in this disgusting green gunk that wouldn't be appetizing even if it was icing on top of a cake. It's just disgusting, ugly, and everything's laced with it. And... Um, I, again, it speaks to the budget of this film that it's they couldn't make a convincing goblin glop. Fuck! Stop! Fam! Fam! The ghost of the grandfather interrupts the family meal to tell the young it stops time the ghost has uh has time stopping abilities stops time so the young boy can prevent his family from eating the food that is covered in the evil goblin icing uh and the young boy decides he's going to stop uh he's going to interrupt the family meal and and stop them from eating by urinating all over the uh food and i that now that's what's funny is that's a scene that I think we thought would get a huge reaction out of you, but you just kind of like, okay, yeah, sure, that's what happened. Hospitality. 
and you can't piss on hospitality. I won't allow it. Uh, but I don't know what would be worse if if the food was covered in that green junk or pee. The plot of the god. Do you think the goblins were trying to take over the world, Jason? Hi. <laughs> the, the goblins' motives uh, are not very clear, other than they want to they want to eat people, and it seems like they want to force uh, the vegetarian lifestyle. We're vegetarians here in Nilbog. Didn't you know that? Here's some Nilbog milk. Special milk, high in vitamin content. Found us. The moral is never be a vegetarian. I think there are a few other. The moral of this film is never make a sequel to Troll. I think there are a few other morals, like believe your son if he says he's seeing the ghost of his grandfather and warning him about goblins. Um, don't eat strange food from people you don't know. That's a good, that's uh, across the board. Don't, you know, don't take candy from strangers. Don't take goblin cakes from religious people or anybody. Um, don't piss on hospitality. Literally or figuratively. That's right, I completely forgot about that scene. That's not how you make popcorn in real life. I don't know if you knew that. Um, that's not the process. But I guess she's a witch, right? Is she a witch, Jason, that woman? Maybe. Did you read the novelization of Troll 2? Did they explain it in the book? No, oh, yeah, I didn't either, so. Uh, yeah. You just had some love I bet they are. I know you're, we're excited for Halloween, right? And we'll be doing a fun Halloween special at some point. But, J-Man, it was a thrill to watch Troll 2 with you, and I love sitting here talking to you about it, being Siskel to your Ebert. Is Troll 2 the worst movie you've ever seen in your life? Yeah. <laughs> best. Worst. Yes, it is the best worst movie. <laughs> this is this is our sweet soft mother over here. <laughs> That's very kind of you, Jason. Be on the lookout for more J Man the Jokester on the aisle. And let's go let's go get something to eat, buddy. Does that sound good? Do you want some Joshua?